Ooh, you're a wizard, Harry. Um, so I was going to try and plan and make something, but to be honest, I really feel like I should make a wand. Uh, being being British and all of that. And of course, the wand chooses the wizard. But to be honest, I feel like I'm just going to make whatever I want. You know, make a wand. Make a, make a wand, whatever. Make it interesting, at least. Because I, cause I'm going to. And let's start with the base, the buttery biscuit base. Obviously, we've got to start off with a cylinder and make that base. Uh, but the base, no travel. Let's make it whatever. Out of perspective, that's way too high. Obviously, it's going to be one, and I'm just going to trim it down to about tall. Uh, I think the radius was fine, but both height, no. Let's put down about 2.5 because I am literally starting at the most base base. That's boss. Wad. Not the biggest. Take some of Not the biggest uh, Harry Potter fan, to be honest. Which is like, <gasps> shock horror! To, to people who expect me to. That's not left or front. Left. Thank you. Why is front now that? Let's connect this just once. Let's get the R. Take off these for a second. And just pull it out like that. Put these back on. And then we can come for that edge. Just to make it a little more rounded. Uh, uh, Turbo Smooth will be on, of course, which is why I'm going to go in and just insert that a yeah, couple of times. And then I'm gonna. Oh, ring's not the right one. Loop's the right one. Hard to tell sometimes. I'm trying for it just. Just a little bit. And then we can go to bottom view. I don't know whether to make this a quick vid or a speed build. So I'm not. It's a little, uh, relatively going to take my time on it. So let's just. Put that shit out. So, uh, let's just check if everything's good. Everything is good. Let's go top view and zero this, send this out. Because okay. this can go if you're building, uh, building the world of Harry Potter. And, and then you can do stuff. To make, I think I'm going to make it a really strange, strange. Do that. Extrude that. The plan will come soon enough. We can connect these. Just gonna connect them. Connect them five times. Get that back to this. So we have this weird, weird egg shape, which I'll sort out in a minute. Of course, this needs just an extra one just to keep it down. Not an extra five, Jesus. An extra one. Pull in and just make it just a better shape. Uh, it's hard to make a wand that doesn't look like something else. But an easy way to do this actually would have been to use a uh, spline and and lathe. But to be honest, I want to make it a little bit a little bit strange. 
I'm gonna. Ah, grab every second one. Should be twelve, so it should be six. Mm -hmm. Whoa! That's not what I want. Bevel bubble. Oh, that's fine. A little bit like that. Hey, 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 hey! Let's go left. Let's select all of these. Ooh, no, let's ah no, let's make the top first. That would be better. So yeah, that nude. Nope, and then you'd extrude not by that much because that's way too tall. And we can connect this up. Make it three. Let's give it a little bit volume. Like that. And we go up. And we can Click bevel and just perspective, just bevel it. Bevel it. Okay. Ah. Now, if that isn't an interesting one chip, I don't know what is. Now the thing what I was gonna do with the uh let's see select all the vertices in here. Obviously control click and drag if you miss. And go down to a twist modifier. Uh what we really should do actually is take that off. Actually, select the whole vertices because then it just twisted it around into a really useful dress. Let's put the bias a little So now we have that. So now, if we let's take the bias off a little bit. Just have that, like that right? And then we can collapse dirtable poly. It's like the whole object here all and all the smooth. Like like that. Obviously I'm gonna change it. Change it around. Uh -huh. There's no way of that. Ooh. S still works good. If S even add stuff in. just to make it a little bit cleaner, just for when. The inevitable part of putting turbo smooth on it. Totally double smooth, and it kind of looks like an ice cream truck. No, it doesn't. And I think that's a very, very interesting wand, don't you? Because I do. Ooh, let's go back actually. Go to edible boy. So obviously, we need the wand, don't we? We need the wandy wand. Next through to that. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's a wand. 
It's one that will have many a twist. Or a knife blade. Let's do this one, just need to add a bevel to it. And just round it off. And obviously like the bottom, we need to connect. We need to cut. So much as a tugs. I wish I had a key for next door, right? But he's put in other. This one wants me to one. Yeah. It was its wand, and it may look quite often a little bit phallic. But, you know. We're getting it. Let's add. Loads of connections. Not loads. You know, so. And let's do what we did for the last time. Just, just to give it a twist. Give it a twist, Ron. Give it a twist. Ron will give it a twist. Oh! Kinky. Let's not give it a twist, let's just keep it straight in. So I'm, I'm pulling this, this design out of my ass. Mm, oh, I know what we can add to it. We can add a coil. Where is it? Is it a helix? Yeah, it's a helix. Woo! I'm gonna press T for. Got that. Do we have that? Or has it just disappeared into the nether sphere? Jesus Christ. Did I right click accidentally or something? Hmm? Is there something wrong with me doing this or something? Because it's there. Oh, because I need to choose the actual angle of curve. Man. That's fine, whatever. I think this will be a quick, quick vid. Quick vid. Can you just please just grab them? One ship, just that's all. And now it's way too small. Let's. Put this back to zero. We need to go into wireframe to select that now. Wire, wireframe, wireframe. You make my heart thing. Now we can add that like that. And what we can do, if we just added that pivot to zero zero zero, it's all the way down here. I like the world. Press top, and let's just move that in a little bit. Ooh, just a little bit. And actually move it around like that. And then we have a really, really interesting way to do this. And obviously we can keep on doing it and adding more. But I think 
Yeah, let's add, add more. Just two. Three. It's really like the design of a yeah, like that. Because it's very... Where's it gone? Why is front view like that? It's really odd. I really like that type of thing. It just looks really cool. And obviously we can make some of them just a little bit, just that little bit taller. Not much to it. Like that. Make some of the other ones. Yeah, let's just turn that around. Some of the ones just a little bit smaller like that, just to, just to give it some form of interest. Like that. Nope, didn't didn't select you. Didn't select you. Still not selecting you. Thank you. You know what? If... It's fine because that looks really cool. So now we can. Uh, I haven't made that down. It's just bring up the UV from here. Let's have a look at what damage I've done. Hello, Jesus, flatten. Well, this also comes out all right, doesn't it? Don't it? Um, so now I'm just going. Actually, let's quickly can help a poly. And attach all these. This will be some form of fresh hell. But you know, whatever. Oh, was that all right. I mean, run up that UV, which is obviously going to look fine because it's literally helixes. But once we flatten it, sends into a bunch of squiggles, which looks like dialect. Of some form of weird, weird race. Oh, and obviously we've still got materials from Screen Canister because I'm doing this straight after. Are you all turning brown? Right, let's add one on the handle, eight on the handle. Just because well, my head's hurting. And this will be. In layer, in layer. Let's go over it. And now we can knock off glass, knock off, and go down to wood. And then we just choose a very nice, very nice wood. I'm going to go for a English oak, because why not? And then we're in F9 to render that. Looks very nice. I wonder if there's any polished, polished uh, ones. I'd, I'd like a nice polished. Oh, glossy. Oh, and just bring it to glossiness. Let's not put on highlights. Mm -hmm. Enable reflectivity. Take down. Put up some oblique. A little bit of direct. Uh, very nice wooden wand. That looks, if anything, comfortable. How glossy can it? That's the glossy that I need. Just boost it all the way up so it looks like a varnish. It does it looks very nice. And then we can, now we can focus on the inlay, which I'm gonna use a very ornate metal. Framing steel is probably one of my favorite interiors to use in this. We get a very nice 
nice material. I feel like these should be bigger. Possibly just like thicker. Hmm. You know, I can't because even if I press resize, I'll just go like that, and it's not what I want. It's what I want to do. Do, 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 do. But you know, one, isn't it? And obviously, you can, you, you can make this actual wand head into a spline so you can give it some interesting. Uh, oops. I'll press that. You can give it some interesting. Interesting pattern of designs and, and what have you. Let's see what other metals we can use for that. More metals that stand out. Brass mm, satin looks. Usually quite nice. But we'll see if it appeals to the wood. But that's a wand. Whether it's a good wand or a bad wand, who cares? Because I'm just doing this for fun, because I wanted to make a wand. Close that, save as WAND, all capitals. Close this down. There's a really nice screen. <laughs> so, the reason why I made a wand is because a guy that I've been watching on YouTube called Give us a minute. I have to search through my YouTube. Called Peter Brown. It's a really awesome guy. Uh, he's, as far as I can tell, a uh, carpenter, woodmaker, woodworker. Really cool guy. He makes some really interesting stuff out of wood. As well as um, things that I didn't think you could turn into other things. Like making a bracelet out of jeans or making a magnifying glass although although simple out of out of um epoxy resin yeah that's weird as well as making a bottle stopper out of a towel and epoxy or you need to get me some epoxy but um i will see you in part whatever of something else as usual bye bye because i don't know how to end things Bye-bye.